Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna get into Omla powder. So in my last video, I shared how I wanted to document my first time trying each different Ayurvedic herb. Just to share with you guys how I make each mask, how I apply each mask, my results from each mask, and the benefits of each Ayurvedic herb in each mask. Today's video is in collaboration with Henna Souk. Henna Souk is a super natural and organic and affordable skincare and hair care brand that has Ayurvedic options. I always look at different brands kind of weird, especially if I wanna work Work with them and they had every single box checked off for me they had natural quality products great staff inclusivity and diversity and affordable prices so I was like sign me up so everything will be in the description box below along with my discount code so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the creation of today's mask so for today's ingredients we're going to be using organic omelet powder organic aloe vera powder and organic golden jojoba oil so first you'll see me adding some omelet powder and the benefits to omelet powder is that it stimulates hair growth, it thickens your hair, it strengthens the hair and the scalp, it adds shine and it defines curls and coils. Next you'll see me adding some aloe vera powder which is said to stimulate growth as well, condition the hair and soothe the scalp. And lastly I'm going to add some jojoba oil which moisturizes the hair and scalp and prevents and repairs damage. So now you'll see me adding some warm to hot water to help mix all of the ingredients together. And after I was mixing, I realized that it probably wasn't going to be enough for all of the hair on my head. So I added a bit more omelet powder, olive vera powder, and hot water until I felt like I had enough for all of the hair on my head. Of course, the measurements of each ingredient depends on the consistency that you're shooting for, but I wanted a really nice creamy consistency. This is what the mask looks like. I'm starting out on old hair. My hair has been in a bun for like three, maybe four days. I'm gonna put my hair into four sections and then we'll start applying it on one of the back sections. In this spray bottle, I just have some warm water and I'm going to apply it all over my head. So as you guys can see, I just have a pretty consistent pattern. I just spray my hair with water and I kind of paint the product into my hair and rub it in. My hair was super duper dry these past couple of days. I've been testing out like different styling products and some products don't work as well as others and this time the products weren't that moisturizing for my type of hair. So I had already kind of known that my hair would be super dry going into this. So I had to like really, really saturate my hair and paint the omelet powder into my hair to get it to, you know, absorb. As you guys can see, I'm kind of rubbing the mask into my hair with my hands and I'm using the praying hands method. I'm also spraying my hair with water even after I've already applied the mask to that section. I'm doing that because one, the heat from my hands and the heat in the water helps my cuticle to open up a bit more and make it more receptive to the omelet powder rather than the product just sitting on top of my hair. So you'll see me kind of like split my hair into sections and work on specific spots that might not have gotten as much water or as much heat to help the omelet powder really work in my hair.
Also, when working with really thick hair, it's important to like split a section in half and see whether the product has been applied to the hairs on the inside of each section. Sometimes the hair is so thick that we don't realize that we're only painting it on the outside of that section. Sometimes you have to like open it up and see for yourself and make sure that the product has gotten on each strand. And so that's what you guys will continue to see me do, spritzing each section with warm water, kind of painting and rubbing the product into my hair and spritzing with more water and using the heat from the water and the heat from my hands to get the omelet powder to penetrate my hair shaft. Also, if you guys end up making too much of the mask, you can put this in the freezer and use it again next time. First things first, the smell I'm not a fan of, not even going to lie, but it's a mask so it's like who cares because you're going to rinse it out or shampoo it out so you won't like have to deal with it for a long time. But brace yourself for the smell. Also, Khadijah always says don't eat this. She's not kidding. Whenever I was making the mask, I inhaled a little bit too hard and literally almost died. Uh, So yeah, hold your breath while you're mixing or just breathe lightly whenever you're opening the packages because it's really easy to like inhale and like choke on and like I said the smells eh, but it's temporary who cares secondly the slip that's probably my fault though like I probably could have added something more to make it a bit easier to detangle my hair I just didn't know what else to add but yeah, I would suggest to detangle your hair before or to already just plan to detangle it after because it's hard to detangle while applying this mask, at least with the ingredients that I used for today. But lastly, my hair is super moisturized. Like, I think I'm really feeling the aloe powder and the omelet powder. So I think that's a really good combo. So yeah, I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for like 20, 30 minutes and then I'm going to shampoo it out. This is my hair freshly rinsed. I wish you guys could have felt how smooth and soft my hair was. It was literally like baby freaking soft. I shampooed my hair with the Sisyphus hair wash. I hope I said that right. This was an amazing shampoo. Like some shampoos, you know how they're like, they're good cleansers, but they make your hair feel like straw. This was not that. Like this cleansed my hair super well, but it was still like really soft and moisturized after. Off camera, I deep conditioned and styled my hair after this and my hair 
like was so receptive to moisture it felt like butter when I was like styling my hair and my hair hasn't felt like that in years so I will definitely be using this again if y'all are trying to find natural ways to moisturize and strengthen your hair, I would totally recommend using Omla Powder. All products that I mentioned and my discount code will be linked below. Here are what my results look like and I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you guys in my next one.